Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up the NAD rig today. Not only am I going to set up the NAD rig for you guys, I'm going to tell you when I like to use it, where I like to use it, how I fish it, and a few different methods, and we'll get you going from there. So, this NAD rig, I really like to use it any almost any time of the year I've used it in the springtime in the fall I've just started using it so it's something new to me still I really like to use it on lakes with smallmouth bass smallmouth bass just really enjoy this thing they they love it they just do the fishing for them it's super easy to fish you can jig it you can slow fish it you can pull it in faster you can um, you can do whatever you don't have to jig it even you can just drag it you can get it set up to where you just reel it in I've had luck on all, all methods that I've ever tried now, I haven't had one method fail yet now I've heard that there's um, different places of where to fish it um, I've always fished it near structure I pick out a rock or pick out uh, logs or uh, usually I pick rock piles that's usually my favorite spot to hit up that's one of my first spots I know people will fish it in the bottom of really deep water I've never tried it very deep water, but I know that it works, and it does. Sorry, that fan just kicked on. Don't know if you heard that. But that's where I would fish this thing. Fish it, I've always fished it near the shore coming back out. I fished it up against ledges. I fished it right against the rocks. I fished it just everywhere. Everywhere there's, there's a structure that's... That's where fish hang out. That's just how they are. Another tip when fishing this thing, I always use for smallmouth bass, I pick a bright color. You can they make all kinds of colors and largemouth bass really like natural colors, but I feel like I have more luck on smallmouth bass if I use more unnatural colors. Bright yellow or orange. I've had luck on pink. I really like this color I got now. It's it's black on one side and orange on the other side. It's well, orange is yellow swirls. It really stands out. It's really, really something that's odd. And I think I don't know why. I just think those smallmouth bass. That is one of my favorites for them. I just think that it's something they just hate having show up. Something irresistible to them. The Ned Rig, I use it in the summertime more, and the fall, er, spring and fall, I use it quite a lot. I've used it quite a bit this this fall and a little bit this spring. Um, next, I I can show you guys how to set this thing up, and let's get to that and show you guys how to use this thing. Alright, so there's two things you need when tying on your Ned rig. I like to use a quarter ounce weight and then a 7 inch Cinco. Some people use a 5 inch Cinco worm. I've also seen people buy, I didn't realize they even made them, but they'll buy one specifically for Ned rigging. But I've never used those, I've always used a Cinco. I break mine into thirds, some people will break it directly in half. Either way, I've heard works really well. I always just take it, I pick out about two and a half inches to three inches, just pinch it right off, and you're just gonna thread it on like you would anything else. Just thread her on there and push it up against that head. Quick, easy Ned rig right there. It works great all the way around easy to set up and there you guys go 
Alright, so that's how you set up the Ned Rig. Really easy to set up. Go try this guys out on your local pond. I'm going to show you guys a few clips of me using this Ned Rig and catching some fish for you. Give you guys some excitement. Right here. and We'll go from there. Yes. Alright, so hopefully that gave you guys some excitement. Hopefully that'll get you guys ready for your next pond. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you if you guys would, click that subscribe button down below or even the like button if you like this video. And we'll see you guys on the next show.